we are going to be taking a look at Misaki. If you watched my uh, previous video, or one of my previous videos, you'll see I pulled another uh, dupe of her. I haven't really gone through and actually got her attack or focus up. I want to see how she plays to get a better, better general idea. And this is another thing, because I got SP on here. I got a Golden Chappy on here, unlike the one with Aizen, which I don't have a Tech Golden Chappy yet. So obviously, I can't use the Golden Chappy. And for here, we have a move stick with a 30% attack. And then we got normal attack, 25%, damage taken, 20% and 16. And then we got a 25% normal attack damage link. So... Let's go through it. Um, like the previous one, we are going to be going through each one. Uh, uh, extra quest 1, 2, and 3. We're going to start off with, I believe, the third one. So let's go. And uh, less than 24 hours from the time of this video, the second set of extra quests should be open. Uh, so I'll probably be farming that then. Uh, not... She's not doing too bad. She's uh, beating him pretty quickly. And she has that... Uh... Oh, she has a barrier. I wonder if she'll get multi-barrier for her resurrection. Honestly, that, that, that could actually be pretty good for this character. Give her a multi-barrier. So I'll have a 5 uh, for her. And I think 3 for the other ones. But she's doing pretty good. I didn't know, honestly know what to expect from this one, but on this one, she's doing pretty good. And then you have you to you providing the 20% heal between levels. If you got any character that does that and you're able to take them on like point events, that could actually be very, very good for increasing the survivability of your characters. Uh, so do keep that in mind, especially if you're a newer player where you might not have the best accessories. Um, you know, or the best characters, and you want to farm the point event. Well, assuming you have it, I would honestly recommend if you're gonna go crazy on the point event to at least have three. But I prefer four out of four. Like on my alt account, if I don't have four out of four, I'm not farming the point event. Uh, that's just the way it is. So it's probably gonna be a while before I actually get the point event or the characters four out of four. And maybe it'll be this time, depending on how many characters I get for the new one. Let's see what the timer is on this one. I'm looking for sub one minute, but I don't think this is going to be the case for this one. Yeah, I see 132 on here. Still pretty good, though. It's great at the point event, but she's not like... I should say she's good at the point event. Uh, I don't know. Good and great are kind of subjective. Let's see how she does in the other ones. Next one, we're going to the one that actually I found kind of interesting. If you go watch the Thousand Year Blood War Aizen uh, video that I did on this, he cleared the, the, the power one quicker than he cleared the one he has an attribute advantage <laughs> over, which is kind of interesting, to say the least. So there is that. Um... Uh, I think, yeah, I think, yeah, she's definitely slower than, well, obviously she's definitely slower than the Thousand Blood War Aizen. I really hope she does get a multi-barrier. How many rounds do we have to go of Resurrections for Thousand Year Blood War before we actually get uh, to Masaki? So I know we got... This next round of Thousand Blood War Resurrection would end up being Pink Hair Duchiru, Retsu, and Kimpachi, I believe. And then it's the. Who was it after that? Was it Yamamoto? No, I don't think it was Yamamoto. I think it was Aizen. You. I can't remember who it was. I don't think it was Aizen and uh, Ichigo, Yuha Baha, and one other. I don't think it was. Or was it Rukio, Renji, and Ichigo? I think it might have been Ichigo, Renji, and Rukia. 
I can't remember. But, so, you're probably looking at, like, she was probably, like, around 11, maybe, somewhere around there. I, I don't know, I'll have to look. Maybe someone in the comment section will probably know before I actually, uh, well, not before I look it up, because I'll look it up after this. That was 1 minute and 22 seconds. So it was about 8 seconds quicker. So she's not doing it as quickly as uh, some of the other characters that I've done. But she's doing it uh, still pretty good. And then we're going to take a look at the extra quest. And which one ever gets the best time. So the other one was 130-something, 122. So this one has to beat the 122. If it does not beat 122, then we're going to try one more on the 122 and see if it'll get an improved time, the same time, or maybe even slower. But yeah. I hope. I, to be honest, we're probably not going to get the Masaki Resurrection for years. Um, unless they decide to speed up the resurrecting of the characters again. Or more specifically, the Thousand Year Blood War characters. Then maybe a little bit sooner, but I don't think it. I, th I th still think we're going to be a minimum two years, probably, until this character gets resurrected. Which is fine. Uh, maybe by then I'll have her 5 out of 5 from all the Thousand Year Blood War banners we're going to get. And then she's probably not going to be that good. I mean, she might still be good, but I, I'm just wondering what kind of... Like, we're getting the Pierce Iron Skin. We're, we're almost done with the, shared, the first complete set of Shared Complete Status Immunity for one for every attribute. And now we're on also the farming of the... Or the, the, the farming characters with plus 5 uh, potion, super potion, and 30% to uh, droplet drop increase. So if we get another, if we get at least one character for every attribute for that one as well. So we'll probably have something broken. Probably for next anniversary. I'm not sure if it'll be as broken as the Thousand Year Blood War Yamamoto was. But. I mean it probably will be more broken, but I meant like, you know, the, the, the gap between some of the characters. Because, you know, a lot of characters, two out of five, you're not going to be able to, you know, do the amount of stuff that Yamamoto is doing as a five out of five. Or, so basically, if let's just say character one, not Yamamoto, is five out of five, the Thousand Blood where Yamamoto is specs higher and does more damage at two out of five, which is kind of crazy to think about. It's why people only use Yamamoto for guild quests right now and why some people have been asking for harder content. I didn't really check to see what the time was. I'm just going to go assume that it was. That's another thing. Once you go to the point screen, I should be able to go back to the other one if I want to. To see the time. I'm just going to go to this one. Because this one was the previous characters. And I think it's due to the layout. If I remember correctly, the, the tech one got as much as the speed one. And I think it's due to the layout. So we're going to see if we can beat 122 on here. And I'm going to focus on actually this character this time so I don't end up, uh, you know, zoning out on a different topic. And forgetting about her uh, time. So she, I wonder what it is about her that is slower. Is it just the stats or skills? I mean, she, okay, it's obviously the damage too. Because I think even here, uh, a Thousand of Blood War Eyes, and of course, also, I gotta take into account, she's only one f attack and I think one focus. So that means I would need to get her to 10 on attack, 10 on focus, to have a similar numbers as Aizen, which is another reason, but also Aizen just does a lot of damage as a Nadir, and that's why a lot of people auto using him. But I think she's a very good survivable character. Especially if she gets multi-barrier on her resurrection. Now let's see. There we go. So we're on the last one. 
Who are you hitting? Okay. There we go. Let's see, do you get 120? Oh, 120. So two seconds quicker. That's not bad. Obviously not as good as some of the more recent characters, but still pretty good. Uh, do you guys use Misaki still for autoing or farming? Any of you? And if so, do you... Hold on. Uh, do you have better characters and you just like using her? Or do you just actually, you know, like, just... It's your favorite character. Just want to end up using. Because, like, right now, I'm trying to get... Where is it? Let's see. Oh, I haven't checked my status for this for a bit. Oh, look. Aizen is finally in the top five. So it's, yeah, I want to get Aizen, or Aizen and Yamamoto in the top five. Tokinata is still at number one. That's that's kind of insane. So let me know who you auto with. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.